Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Did it happen to you ever when you were looking for something, something was stolen from you, or let's say someone um, must have done something illegal somewhere and it was an investigation opened, and then you hear an idiot showing up and said, uh, uh, it was not me, I was with my uh, grandmother shopping. Everybody's like, you know, when people draw attention towards themselves without being even questioned or being under scrutiny, uh, isn't that a big, big question uh, sign over there? I think it is. Now, we have Davos. Remember Davos? Remember Mr. Schwab? Schwab? Remember the guy with uh, uh, you owe nothing but you're very happy? Yeah, that guy, that guy. Uh, kind of like a butterfly. Now, Davos uh, prepares for the festivities in Switzerland and the same, something happens and I wouldn't have known if they wouldn't have... <clears throat> I was with the grandma uh, grocery shopping. Oh, what? No, what happens over there? This article comes from uh, Sputnik. It is from today, the 9th of uh, January 2023. Switzerland to deploy 5,000 troops to provide security at Davos Forum. Who troops? Military, you mean? Do you mean like army? <laughs> why would you do? Why would you do that? Um, well, we know why. <laughs> I mean, when these guys get together, it's not like uh, you and I going to a restaurant or something. Nah. So let's see uh, how these guys prepare for the festivities, and maybe they're gonna tell us uh, a little bit you know, the menu that's going to be uh, discussed at the restaurant, I mean Davos. Up to 5,000 Swiss military personnel. Jesus Christ. 5,000 military, not, you know, uh, police officers or security forces. Nah, military. Are they going to bring tanks too and helicopters? Uh, and maybe the Swiss... Uh, Air Force were going to be on standby, or maybe zero, 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 constantly buzzing around. Jesus Christ. So up to 5,000 Swiss military personnel will be deployed to provide logistics and security for participants at the World Economic Forum, WEF, in Davos next week. Got your uh, plane tickets? The Swiss government on Monday. Why so much uh, security and logistics? Do they, I don't know, do they think that something would happen, harm them? <laughs> I mean, it, we have Jesus as an example, right? He was as he was and they harmed him. So these guys in Davos, you know. Anyway, so let's, uh, it's a quotation here. The federal parliament has set a ceiling of 5,000 troops who will serve in support during the WEF which will run from January 10 to 26. Some of them will be stationed directly in Davos, where the annual meeting will be held from January 16 to 20, the statement read. So I'm getting that this 5,000 is just the military and there would be some extra uh, others, uh, probably. I don't think the ones that are gonna be in the street are gonna be the military, probably the, probably the uh, police and other uh, the regular guards. Oh, here, uh, our sir, our servicemen will guard infrastructure and provide services related to <coughs> logistics and air force operations. What did I tell you? Air force operations throughout Switzerland. An air force operation could be what when these guys come with their um, um, clean energy helicopters and private jets with the, you know, the wind windmills attached to their jets or with, I don't know, the, the water flowing um, clean energy. They're going to talk about clean energy, I guarantee you that. But how are they going to go over there? They're going to be walking, coming with a bicycle, using a, I don't know, a horse? Nah, nah, nah. They're going to come with their big jets. That's what's going to happen. So. Uh, so they were related logistics and air force operation throughout Switzerland, according to the statement. Soldiers will be authorized to, 
and I'm quoting, use coercive police measures to carry out their respective tasks, the government said. Why do you need the, why do you need the soldiers? Will they be armed? Will they have war munition on it? And if yes, don't you think it's a little bit way, you know, overboard? Well, they don't care. At this point, it's like us against you. You, bye-bye, we're stronger. Just, you're just, you know, like proles around the city, just drag your little dirty uh, feet around the uh, citadel. Anyway, there is currently no definite number of participants in the forum. Uh -huh. According to the latest information, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez, Ecuadorian President Guillermo Lasso and Colombian President Gustavo Petro intend to personally attend the Davos Forum. Now, who else is coming? Who else? Um, don't get me wrong, this is just a... Uh, I, I think it's just a slap on our faces uh, because they can... Uh, they can always uh, conduct uh, this kind of uh, operations via, you know, Zoom or other, you know, uh, other methods. They don't have to show up in person. They can have their communication through the little rooms, electronic, you know what I mean? Uh, they have the ability. But coming over there in person, that's the whole point. They show us, or the rest of the world, uh, that they're not afraid and they say well we are actually not doing anything wrong because believe me believe me I mean if you read and you read uh, or you you watch certain kind of uh, speeches at Davos those people talking over there they really think that they are the how should I put it the promoters of love and happiness on this planet they really believe that and uh, they know that it's them and us and th that's no doubt but they they think that's the way it should be because they are the ones who know and uh, the ones that have the this we are the ones who don't know the ignorance and we have the you know so which is true they have this we don't have it now about knowing i'm i'm assuming that they know certain things that we will never have access to to uh, to that but uh, no, things are not that very complicated. They just that we don't figure out yet the names, the exact connections. But the big scheme, we know what it is. It's them and us, and it's a big army in between us. It keeps us uh, away. Why? Why do you need to do that? Why do you need to do that? Every time you see a leader, uh, you know, in nowadays in current uh, current world, walking around his people surrounded by uh, 10 feet of guards has like a this and around him like a big ring of uh, uh, security guards walks towards his uh, uh, how do you call them uh, some of them are obviously paid uh, participants uh, you look at them and say so, so this this is where we got I say well well I mean there are crazies over there well there are crazies over there that's true but uh, don't you think it went too far I mean really and uh, not only for me it was a, a, a really i mean i it was not a happy thing don't get me wrong on this one uh, you know when the pope uh john paul ii uh was uh shot by that guy well, boom boom close range or something or you remember that one i mean that, that's a bad thing and then what they do they start uh, building that the pope mobile with uh, like this thick uh glasses around it and so on now a pope for me at least, and that's the way it should be, is not a president. It's much better than that, or it should be better than that. Why? Because the Pope doesn't necessarily talk about, uh, you know, uh, this policy and that policy. It talks about something superior uh, to that, right? And uh, besides, um, I don't think that um, those Christians who were martyrs in the past did uh, give a damn if they live or die being attacked by crazies. You remember? And... Uh, meeting uh, their maker and being with them they were not afraid they sacrificed for what they loved and all that remember the ones singing in the Colosseum and so on yeah that happened that happened oh compare that with the Pope now driving that uh, freaking uh, Pope mobile because someone will kill them 
I mean, that's stupid. Uh, that's, but people like this exist. They say, why should he expose himself? Well, it's uh, isn't it a little bit too much concern? It's like you, you have someone who tells you, and it's not about the Pope, well, I can't be killed, I'm uh, immortal, but then he goes with uh, a Pope mobile. Is that how Jesus walked around? Um, is that what he did in the Gethsemane uh, gardens when the guys came to apprehend him? And uh, what's his name? Uh, Peter showed up and cut the ear of that guy and so on. Is that how he did? No, he said, no, let them take me. Let it be fulfilled. I mean, that's why I'm here. Well, it doesn't mean that the Pope has this same kind of calling, but uh, you should not be afraid to die. And uh, you should be, uh, your life is in God's hands. The same here. This guy seemed that, seemed that whatever they do, they think they do for us as a benefit. But they know, and all these preparations, uh, I think is not, oh, you know, Emil, there are very many crazy nowadays. And it's, you know, a lot of radicals and all these people and we have to protect. It's true, it's true, but I can't be that naive to believe that that's it. And I'm sorry, but I will not uh, subscribe to that kind of uh, below 86 IQ explanation. I mean, yeah, if I want, I ignore everything else I know or everything else that they let us see, you know, and uh, just go, go with that. I think it's much more. It's just... Uh, um, them, them uh, against everybody else, and it is what it is. I have nothing illegal there. They can do whatever they do. I, I'm not saying that they do anything that uh, um, maybe I mean we don't like it, or some of us don't like that. Uh, we would like more transparency, but on the other hand, there are certain things that uh, you're not uh, required to tell anybody else. So, yeah, it's all uh, very suspicious and very. You know, but having 5,000 military over there, how do you call that one? Who do you think is going to come over there? Putin with Lavrov and Shoigu to take over? <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.